What's going on, guys? We'll go back with another War Within video. Hope you're all doing very, very well. <clears throat> We're going to talk about Rogue today. And, um, <clears throat> excuse me, specifically Outlaw Rogue and the two hero talent trees that you can pick as an Outlaw Rogue in the War Within right now. I want <clears throat> to basically start this whole thing by saying that both of these trees are really bad. Um, it is sort of insane to me that these are even, that these even exist. Um, I think these are the worst trees in the game so far that has been made. And like, I'm a pretty positive person, as you guys know, and I've been trying to see what they're doing with these trees. And I just can't because they're just that bad. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let's talk about both of these trees and why they're bad. And I actually didn't even want to release this video right now because I know that Blizzard is fixing some of them. In particular, the Trickster tree is getting a bit of a rework. It's not going to proc off of Faint anymore. It's going to proc off of a different ability, but it's not implemented yet. And so we're still just kind of stuck looking at these trees and being like, okay, well, when is it going to change? And what are they even going to do once it does change? So... I didn't want to make this video, but I want to, I, I do want to make it because I want to make sure Blizzard actually does make a change because I, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid they're not gonna, I'm afraid that we're going to have to keep the fate bound tree the way that it is and the trickster tree the way that it is. And we're going to be like, rogues are just going to be out to lunch, dude. It's just awful. So let's talk about those hero trees right before we do. I do want to make a note on the class tree. A couple of things have kind of moved around. Killing spree is now at the top here and it is now a combo point spender. So that is interesting. Nothing else has changed about Killing Spree. It still gets reduced. The cooldown still gets reduced because of Restless Blades. Um, it still forces you to target, you know, an enemy and you jump around and then you take less damage. 100% of the damage that you take uh, while you're doing this is delayed. But like, it's just still the same ability that it has been. <clears throat> Ghostly Strike is now a capstone and that's okay, I guess, but... It's just a 15% damage buff. It's not bad by any means. It's, it's okay. It's just a little bit weird. Crack shot's still here. All the stealth stuff is still here, which I'm using right now. Blade Rush is still here in the middle of the tree. And, and, and I, I don't know how incredible this is. It does generate 25 energy over five seconds now, which I believe is brand new. Let me just uh, check that really quickly just to make sure. I'm pretty sure that's new. Um, I look at Outlaw here. Blade Rush. Oh, no, it, it generated anyway. So there you go. There, so it's the same, actually. The exact same cooldown. But again, you can see Ghostly Strike moved down. Killing Spree moved up. Um, and then the rest of the bottom of the tree here is actually the same. So a lot of the other stuff is, is quite similar. Now, I tried using Killing Spree because I was like, man, it's more accessible now. It's not a capstone. But there's just too many other good nodes that you're going to want to take. Um, so I don't know. I... I and it's not that great. Like, it's okay, but the damage wasn't anything spectacular. I wasn't, like, really looking forward to pressing Killing Spree. So, I don't know. I think they need to really make this... This probably needs to do double the damage that it does right now for it to actually be a real choice that people are going to want to take. Seriously, it needs to do double the damage. It's insane. Even with Blade Rush active, it wasn't doing that much damage. So, let's talk about these hero trees. We're going to start with Trickster. Trickster is the tree that is going to be getting reworked, and the entire Trickster tree revolves around this unseen blade mechanic, okay? So right now, Faint uh, grants two combo points and then quickly slashes an enemy for an, with an unseen blade, okay? It deals damage, um, and then target struck are phased. This is this new phased mechanic. So you essentially like do more damage to phased enemies, and you have a chance to spawn an unseen blade, like or to quickly strike them with an unseen blade, with kind of this phased mechanic. It's sort of like your mastery, main gauge, main gouge, whatever it is, where you have a chance to trigger another attack. It's almost the exact same thing, just in like a hero uh, tree. So let's keep going. Let's look at the rest of them. Faint reduces damage taken by an additional 10%. That's kind of crazy. And then you uh, take 5% reduced damage from phase target. So take this all with a grain of salt. Uh, this is going to change. I just want to help you understand the base like idea of what they're going for with the unseen blade thing and this phased mechanic. Because I, I guarantee you it's going to be changed from faint to something else. At least I hope it is. Attacks that generate combo points deal 25% increased critical strike damage to distracted targets. Once again, this is another thing where you like have to distract enemies which is a one and a half minute cooldown. And um, I don't believe it actually gets cooled down with Restless Blades. Adrenaline Rush between the eyes 
Blade Flurry, Blade Rush, Ghostly, Grappling, Keep It Rolling, Killing Speed, Roll the Bone, Sprint, and Vanish. So this does not get cooled down with roll the with um your passive. Now, and there isn't even like another there's no talent you can take that's gonna interact with distract. So I don't really understand. There's just an energy cost reduction. So like look at this. Tax that uh, generate combo points, a 20% increased critical strike damage against distracted targets, and then killing spree applies phased, and then the phased thing, um, distract now creates a cloud of smoke, and then attacks within the cloud phase enemies. So that's cool. I actually don't mind that idea, except that, like, it's a one and a half minute cooldown. Like, you can't reduce it at all. Um, finishing moves have a 10% chance to critically strike distracted targets. Once again, all this crit damage and crit strike against distracted targets like i can only do it one every minute and a half so it just doesn't seem that great to me i don't know i don't know let me know what you guys think about that um even the coup, coup de gras so after four strikes with an unseen blade your next dispatch will perform a coup de gras dealing 40 percent more damage if the primary target is distracted you get five stacks of flawless form which is this thing that just gives you more mastery so like it feels like you're really going to want to make sure that you have your distract up and ready to go before you perform this coup de gras, or else you're going to miss out on all this mastery over here. I don't know. It's really weird, okay? It's really weird. It's very strange. I don't like that it's tied to distract. I also don't like that it's tied to faint. It's okay that it's tied to faint, but I know that they're thinking of changing it, but they need to really get rid of this distract thing. This distract uh, tech is really bad, in my opinion. Slice and Dice grants 10% additional attack speed and gives your auto attacks a chance to trigger an unseen blade. That's cool. That's actually fine. I like that because, again, every four unseen blades, we get a big coup de gras with our uh, just with our dispatch. So, like, that's a great talent. I love Thousand Cuts. That one fits the theme really well. Taking area damage while faint is active or dodging while evasion is active triggers an unseen blade. So, you can sort of make your defense become offense, which is kind of interesting. Um, I like the auto attack one better. Tricks of the Trade uh, redirects threat for an hour, so you don't have to keep casting it. Really nice quality of life. Blind and Shroud of Concealment have 10% reduced cooldown reduction. Pickpocket and Sap have 10 yards of increased range. I don't even know what that's for, dude. Like, Sap in PvP, I get it. Pickpocket? Why is Pickpocket in there? You gonna pickpocket somebody in PvP? Are you gonna pickpocket people in the open world, like, just for fun? Is that Do people really do that? I don't know. I get the sap part for PvP. I understand that, but like, what? I don't know. I'm confused. Killing spree is a temp. Uh, killing spree has 10% more damage and has 10% reduced cooldown. So they're incentivizing you to take killing spree. Um, also, killing spree applies phased. So like, it's actually probably a really good idea to take take killing spree with this tree. So let's do that. I guess I'll just dump. Uh, shoot, I don't even know what to dump here. I guess we could just dump this. We'll just do that for now. So that that's the whole tree. So like. <clears throat> You have to press faint to get a buff that's going to that's gonna strike an enemy, or it strikes an enemy right away, okay? And then your auto attacks have a chance to strike with an unseen blade. Every four unseen blades that you hit with is going to trigger a really big dispatch. And of course, you can hit everybody with uh, blade flurry with that big dispatch. It's really annoying, though. I'm going to show you this in a second. So, like, <clears throat> I don't mind the unseen blade part. It just should not proc from faint. And then distract needs to be gone, man. Distract is terrible. It's really terrible. Really, really. Like, it's just bad. So I'm hoping that Blizzard changes this to something else, but I'm also just really hoping that they rework this whole tree. I'm not going to lie. Like, I don't know exactly what, what their plans were for this tree, but they have a glimpse of what I think they were trying to do, which is, like, incorporate Killing Spree as a, as a better button. And I really think they should do that. They should go all in on Killing Spree. I don't understand why Unseen Blade should not be. It should be this. Every four Unseen Blades that you trigger, uh, that you um, that you use, your next dispatch will trigger a Killing Spree. A five-point combo Killing Spree or something. I don't know. Just make it so you're doing it all the time. I know that sounds terrible, but I, I, maybe it... Maybe... Okay, instead, do it this way. After, like, five or six Unseen Blade strikes your next killing spree deals triple damage. Like, do something outrageous that is tied to killing spree and make me want to actually take this talent that's really... And this just tie it all in with this tree. That seems fine to me. I don't mind that. Make it worth my while to press this freaking button. Please. 
or just don't have any killing spree stuff at all. What is this 10% nonsense? 10% more damage, 10% reduced cooldown? Like, give me a button that I can press and feel like I am nuking everybody. Like, I don't know, that would be really, really cool to me. The thing that does combo with this tree on the spec tree is float like a butterfly. Your restless blades will now cool down faint. But again, I believe they're going to get rid of the faint synergy. So this is not going to matter. But right now, this is a mandatory talent for this tree. Because if you're cooling down faint, you can use faint more often. And it's going to give you, it's going to attack the enemy with an unseen blade and generate combo points. That's a really, really good button to be pressing. Okay, so let me show you this tree in action. I do have mostly the stealth package going with like crack shot and the extra um, ambush talents here. And then um, the haste. I have two charges of vanish. So we're going to give this a shot here. Um, where's my killing spree? It's on shift Q. Okay. Let's put it over there. We'll just put it there in case I want to use it during stealth. So you still want to be using your between the eyes, obviously, once you're in stealth or for six seconds after being out of stealth because of subterfuge. Subterfuge. Let's do that. You do have to start your slice and dice, but um, once you're going, it won't matter. So I'm just going to do this. I'm going to do slice and dice, and we're going to do that. Okay, we're finishing with a... Okay, now we're on cooldown. We're going to proc our... We're going to do faint. Faint procs a uh, unseen blade. There's my killing spree. That's going to phase everybody, the new phase debuff. There's a big dispatch. That was the super dispatch there, by the way. I know it looked weird, but... um. Yeah, we're cooling everything down. Oh, I should have been using... I forgot my crack shot buff. I'm really bad at this game right now. Boys, cut me some slack. Cut me some slack. We're working on it. Okay. Here we go. We'll do a uh, killing spree. We'll do another faint. Every time I press faint, it's going to do damage and give me combo point. There's a big distract. This is like the coup de gras distract. Here's one problem with this coup de gras thing. It like It's like a channel now. Watch it right. Watch my dispatch. Watch this. I'm like, oh, never mind. Sorry, that was the ambush. I'll show you in a second. We got to hit with Unseen Blade here. I will show you once I have a distract ready. It's like a channeled ability, and I can't stop it from channeling, and it's really annoying. Um, I don't really know how else to say that. There's my killing speed. That's a spender, remember? There's another distract. We haven't got a coup de gras yet. Where is it? I thought I would have gotten it earlier. Okay, we're going to trigger an Unseen Blade. We'll trigger another one. Okay, here's my coup de gras. Ready? Watch this. It's channel. All my buttons go blank. I can't do anything. And then I like for like a second, there's like a one second thing afterwards when I'm done and I can't press any buttons and it drives me crazy. I don't really know what they were going for there because it's like, it's very like disorienting where I'm like, damn, I, uh, I kind of want to press my other buttons, Blizzard, but I can't. Please let me press my other buttons. Anyway, like killing spree being a spender now is kind of cool. I don't mind that. I don't mind killing spree at all. I just wish they would go all in on it. Like, I don't know what they were going for with this thing. Like, I need to be pressing faint basically all the time. So instead of potentially pressing my other buttons, obviously faint is a very cheap ability and it's defensively is insane. So you basically, you could have faint up all the time. Reduces the damage taken from area of effect attacks by 50% and all other damage by 20%. And then it slashes the enemy and does the unseen blade thing. So like, that's cool, but they need to change this, right? Otherwise, I don't know. You're like invincible all the time. I don't get it. Um, but it's also just weird to not be pressing my offensive buttons to do offensive damage. Okay. So that's it. It's all about these unseen blades and then applying this like phased thing to enemies. Um, phased enemies take 5% more damage from you and can't parry your attack. So that's kind of cool. So you have a 5% damage buff all the time and you're triggering these extra strikes. That's all you're really doing. Um, the synergy with killing spree just doesn't do it for me. You should not take this button, I don't think. I feel like you could do way more damage not taking it. So that's like a dead talent. I feel like Nimble Flurry is just a dead talent, honestly. So I don't like this at all. I didn't even use Distract. Let me show you this. This is really dumb. Now you need to use Distract like on your opener, probably. You like roll the bones into a Distract and then boom, now you can start doing damage. It's like, what the hell are we, what is going on here? Like, I don't get it, you know? What were they going for? I don't, I don't know. I just don't know. I just don't know. So we're going to try the other tree in a second here. Um, I Yeah, I don't, I don't know. I don't know, guys. This tree is just weird. The other one's even worse. I'm not going to lie. They're going to change this. So just keep in mind that's happening. But Blizzard, please either go all in on Killing Spree or don't. Please don't do this like half-baked Killing Spree thing. Because it just... 
it doesn't make me want to press killing spree it just doesn't what you've done with it doesn't seem to do much okay let's look at fate bound <clears throat> let me look at fate bound here and we'll do some gameplay in a second as well fate bound is your outlaw plus sub trickster was outlaw plus assassination i believe fate bound's even worse this is crazy so flip a fate bound coin each time you use a finishing move that consumes five or more combo points Okay, you can get heads or tails. If you get heads, you increase all damage by 5%. If you get tails, you deal some cosmic damage to like nearby enemies. Each time you flip a coin and it rolls the same coin as the last time, then you get um, a 20% boost to whichever coin was rolled. So if you roll two heads, instead of a 5% damage bonus, you'll get a 6% damage bonus because 20% of five is... 1%, 5 plus 1 is 6, so 6% damage bonus. So that's the whole thing, okay? You're flipping these coins. Now, there are ways to deterministically flip coins. For example, Fatebound coins flipped as dispatch um, multiple times in a row are 33% more likely to match the same face. You can sort of game it a little bit and try to get the same match over and over again. Activating Adrenaline Rush will flip a coin that lands in the middle, and it gives you both a heads and a tails roll, which is kind of cool. I kind of like the idea there. Like, honestly, the, the, the base idea of what's going on here is kind of cool. I don't mind this coin flipping thing. You can have a Cold Blood talent um that uh, benefits the next two abilities but that only applies to dispatch and then the fate bound coins flipped by these abilities are guaranteed to match the same so again more ways to game it or you can just have a sinister strike having a bit better chance to strike an additional time and your fate bound coins flipped having a five percent additional chance to match as the same so passive versus active and then the capstone is the worst part ever this is so stupid i don't understand this when a fate bound coin flips the same side seven times in a row, by the way, seven in a row, the lucky coin grants 1% increase to your agility and then to crit, haste, mastery, versus so 1% to all those stats, and then 1% leech, 1% avoidance. That's what you get for 10 seconds. So you spend all this time flipping coins, you happen to luck out and flip seven of them at, at heads in a row, and then you get a 1% bonus to agility and haste and crit and stamp and uh, mastery. I don't understand. What is going on here? Why on earth is that the bonus that you get? Like, this seems so dumb to me. 1% uh, uh, like how boring is that as well? This is the most boring thing in the entire game right now. I swear to God. You can't be slow below 70% of your normal uh, movement speed while your fate bound coin flips have an active streak of at least two flips matching. So if you get heads, then heads again. Uh, you can't be slow but below 70% health. Way to go. Or 70% movement speed. Grappling hook, maybe use a second time within... That's really only for PvP, in my opinion. I'm not sure why you would ever use a second grappling hook in the middle of a pull. Like, it's just not going to happen. Fate intertwined duplicates 15% of dispatch critical strike damage as cosmic to two nearby enemies. This is kind of cool. So if there's no additional enemies, you do more to the primary. So this is all about dispatch. You need to be pressing dispatch over and over and over again, which makes me think that crack shot is not as good of a talent for fate bound because you're not going to want to be spending those. You're not going to want to be using like the uh, between the eyes multiple times. You want to be pressing dispatch because dispatch has so much synergy here, right? Leech is increased by 0.5% for each fate bound coin that has flipped the same face in a row. You have a chance equal to your critical strike chance to absorb 10% of any damage taken up to... That's pretty cool. That's good defensively. Sinister Strike and Ambush generate one additional combo point when it strikes an additional time. That's great. That's wonderful. Nice little combo point generation. Honestly, combo point generation for Outlaw is pretty, pretty much fine, but whatever. Damage dealt when your Fatebound coin flips tails is increased by 21% if there are no other enemies near the target. So a single target bonus there. So... <laughs> I, I don't know, guys. I don't know. The only real big thing you can think about here is double jeopardy. So this makes me want to do the stealth build, which again, I don't know. You want to be pressing dispatch. So these are really conflicting, right? Your first fate bound coin flip after breaking stealth flips two coins that are guaranteed to match the same face. That is really powerful, right? You can get two of the same matches after breaking stealth. So you're thinking, okay, well, Zuko, you're going to want to do the stealth build then with get a second charge on vanish, get crack shot. But yeah. But if I'm using crack shot and I'm not dispatching, then I'm like wasting talents like mean streak, right? 
uh, if I'm not dispatching as much as humanly possible, if, if instead I'm pressing between the eyes, then like, what the hell? So like, do I just not take between the eyes even though I'm doing a stealth build? That doesn't make any sense, right? Like, these are conflicting problems in the same tree. I don't understand what they're going for here. Why are we putting things like two talents that interact with dispatch, two of them that are pretty important, and then this one that says gives you a massive bonus if you when when you break stealth and you can keep breaking stealth with Van. I don't get it. I just don't get it. Like, why are there two? Do they understand that those are opposition to one another? Maybe they don't understand that. I don't know. Okay, let's try and do some gameplay here before my head completely explodes. This tree is completely unnoticeable. You will not know that it is happening, okay? You just won't. And that's, to me, that's sad. Okay, so I'm gonna use my crack shot. I should be using crack shot, right? Oh, I don't have killing spree still. Not be anyway, okay, now we're gonna be dispatching. What is one of my combo points here? Yeah, there we go. I have a killing spree. I did not mean to keep that. You know, let's just use it. Whatever. Perfect. Okay. Let's be, let's try to dispatch as much as possible. Yeah, I'm going to go into a stealth window here. And then we're going to use between the eyes, I guess, to get the crack shot bonus. There we go. Let's do that again. Okay, I got three of them off. Now we're going to be dispatching because we want to make sure that we um, are getting that bonus of, of get the dispatch bonus. The damage isn't like horrendous. Oh my god, I got no procs right there. That was terrible. There we go. We're gonna use our between oh between those isn't even back yet. Wow, that was really bad. Nobody watch what I just did. Okay. There we go. We're doing damage. Do you guys notice any coins? Like there is occasionally a little coin that like flips out like that and it rolls. But like that's it. That's that's your animation. I don't understand. I can't tell if I'm getting stats. I don't know if I've rolled seven in a row the same. I don't know anything. I can't tell anything that's going on here. Did I roll seven in a row? No. Have I rolled two in a row that are the same? I don't think so. I'm in stealth. When I break stealth, I guess my two next two abilities are going to be awesome. Awesome sauce, right? Is that what's happening? Maybe. Who knows? I don't. I certainly don't. I don't know guys this feels really bad to me I feel like hero talents in particular need to have visual clarity I need to understand that I pressed this really cool new ability that I got and it actually did something these little coins that are flipping out of my butt every like eight seconds or whatever is not doing it for me if I'm in the middle of an AOE pack and there's like death and decay on the ground a bunch of other shit going on like I have no idea what's happening with these coins I don't know if I flipped heads. I don't know if I flipped tails. I don't know if it's doing cosmic damage. I don't know if I flipped five in a row. I'd have to look up at my bar. Like you'd have to get a weak aura to track that. And if you have to get a weak aura to track what a hero talent is doing for you, then they have failed divine design wise. Like there's no way that that should ever be the case. I should know intrinsically right away. I should have something on my character that immediately shows me that I've got heads or tails or two stacks or five stacks, or I'm really, really close to getting seven. Because if I know that I'm really close to getting seven, I want to make sure I get that seventh one. I can game that a little bit with the stealth, right? So maybe I hold my vanish for a second and I see, oh, I got six stacks of my coin. Okay. Now I'm going to press vanish. I'm going because then I can get my seventh stack and I can get this big bonus of 1% agility, 1% crit and and mastery and haste and like it's not even a big bonus i don't understand what's going on with this tree somebody explain this to me in the comments down below please because i i just i just really hate this and there's no visual clarity i don't know what's happening to my character and the bonuses don't seem that good the damage seems like kind of maybe sort of okay um if you're running like the stealth package but there's talents that are at odds with each other there's a stealth one here which makes me want to take crack shot and get all the stealth stuff and then there's two dispatch talents which makes me just want to be pressing dispatch over and over and over again and only use my between the eyes when like it comes off cooldown and then no other times and I, and you know there's a i don't know guys i'm just kind of confused also with the trickster tree of course this killing spree tech that isn't really buffing killing spree by that much it doesn't make killing spree a good button that i want to press anymore so both these trees guys are really really frustrating i think these are the worst trees in the game right now i'm telling you i think they are 
Let me know if you think I'm wrong. Let me know if you just think I missed something massive here. Please, I would love to hear from all of you guys down there in the comments down below. I think Rogue needs a lot of work, and I think Blizzard needs to watch this video, hopefully. And please, go watch other videos of better Rogue players telling you that this is awful because it's awful. All right, thanks for watching. Love you all. I'll see you in the next one.